For this pattern, we're going to stick with black and white to focus on the pattern more. So take the first bandana and cut a piece of one of the corners off. Line up the next bandana with it and cut off one of the corners from around the same size. This process can be repeated as many times as you want your skirt to bunch up. If you want to stitch the two pieces before going to the next one, you can do that. You can also wait until you feel that you had enough cut corners. Uh, I meant that literally. This part is actually going to be your waistline. Before proceeding, try it on for waist size. If the skirt ends up being too small around the waist or just too long in general for your taste, you can always cut a little more down the waistline. The angles of the bandanas will make this more simple to do. Now to finish up the waistline. If you want to match it up and not waste fabric, take any extra bandana you might have or any matching color fabrics and cut them into strips. If it's too short, stitch them up into one long strap enough to reach around the waistline. Then stitch it alongside from the inside out part of the line. For the waistline of the skirt, you can use many options, zippers, buttons, or drawstring, but for this one we're going to use elastic. It's actually a lot easier to slip skirts on and off, and it's open to fit a lot more sizes in one sitting. Now comes the part you may need a little more patience for to do if you have less experience. First of all, you want the elastic piece to be at least a few inches shorter than your waistline. Start off by stitching one side of the elastic with the inside of the strip of waistline fabric. What we're going to do next is hem up the waistline around the elastic. Now I'm going to try to show you how to stitch the elastic around the waistline. The key word is going to be try because as you can see I'm doing this with one hand while handling the camera with the other. So beginners please don't try this at home. There may be some skin involved if you do. So the first thing you want to do is sew the hemline on the outside of the elastic. Do not sew the elastic along with it. Make sure there's extra space in between to avoid this mishap. When you reach the end of the elastic, gently stretch and pull it so that the finished part of the skirt bunches up a bit behind the sewing machine. This will help you hold on to the end of the elastic so that when you reach the end, you can stitch the other end of the elastic and the skirt. Once that's done, all that's left to do is stitch along the lines where the opposites of the skirt meet and close it up. One of the most fun parts about this particular idea is that you can use a variety of colors and even customize the length and size for yourself. If you want to make a shorter skirt, just cut the bandanas into four equal parts. You can use this exact same process that you just watched, but with smaller pieces. The volume and livelihood of these skirts are a good opportunity to really accessorize yourself and show off your creativity at the same time. Experiment with your styles of clothes and see what works best for your skirts, or even give yourself even more ideas for color patterns.